Trendy. The docu-series concluded last night, it was two hours, um, and Lindsay made a shocking revelation about why she disappeared for two weeks during the taping. So just take a look at what she has to say, and then we'll talk. <laughs> no one knows this, and we can finish after this. I had a miscarriage for those two weeks that I took off. No, it's a very long story, but I'm so sorry. that's why on the show when it says she doesn't want to come down, she doesn't want to come down. I couldn't move, I was sick. I'm so sorry. And mentally that messes with you. And I'm sorry to hear about that. <laughs> um, everyone, there's, there's, I'm just, I'm sure, sure Oprah's just happy it's all over, okay? <laughs> Go someplace, uh, Lindsay. I all just right, learned so that Chris Brown was leaving an airport. His Twitter name is Mechanical Dummy. And he <laughs> Twittered that uh, one of the men around him reminded him of me, Wendy Williams. In other words, he's calling me a man. Well, you know what? At least if I was a man, then I would spend my time bullying other men, perhaps, and not other women. How you do. So, that virus, little Wayne, there, I said it. I just, I just, I'm, look, look at that. America's parents. That's what your kids are watching. <laughs> there you go. All right, well, the big winner last night was Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly, Suzanne! Terrible. Suzanne! That's terrible! Let me show you the head to toe. It's the worst outfit I've ever seen. Oh, show oh. me! <laughs> this coming from a woman in a wrinkled <laughs> blouse <laughs> and a denim skirt. No, you look cute. Oh, thank no, you. No, I, I do agree with you. This is Givenchy, and I say even the big design houses make mistakes. I don't know. And what is up with the hat and uh -huh. the, like, she won the Fashion Icon Award. So this is your fashion icon, uh, everyone. <laughs> this, this is your icon. Now, Beyonce's really great, and I hate when the beehive gets all stingalicious on me. <laughs> so before I tell you how I feel about her fashion, let me just remind you that I, like Beyonce a lot. She is a supreme supporter, uh, performer. Nobody outdances her. Who else knows how to run in five inch heels? Who have you ever seen fall down a flight of steps and get right up and continue to dance? I get it, like I, I get it. <clears throat> she seems to be a good mom. She's still with her man. She's a good daughter. She's back together with Matthew. Okay, is that enough? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's go in. Yeah. Well, her fans attacked Rita Ora. Uh, they've attacked Rachel Ray here in the building and even Rachel Roy. <laughs> but with Rachel Roy, they're now attacking her two daughters. And the oldest is only 16 and then there's the youngest right there. Like to me, the kids are kind of off limits. And they, and they were calling Rachel all kind of names. Now, I don't know what the history is between Rachel and Jay-Z. <laughs> but I will say this. I had no idea that, that people would stoop so low to attack their children. You know, Ava is the 16-year-old. They attacked her on Instagram and they wrote things like, your mom is a whore. <laughs> yes! Yeah, your mom is a whore. You're a thought like your mama. Isn't that terrible? Yes. Cute girl though, right? Yes. I don't know, between the mom being accused of things, her parents without you all attacking her, and Beyonce, I do feel that 
at this particular point, you do need to say something to the beehive. And so I know you're not a really good talker, so I'm gonna. <laughs> So I'm going to offer you a little bit of assistance, dear. Okay. <laughs> Let's say it together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you people. I really do. thank you. Let's say it together again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Jay-Z and Beyonce, what are we gonna do? Yes. So what's going on? Big, big news. So we know she has a reality show. She sold eight episodes, an hour an episode. They started filming. She's only been filming for two weeks and it's already a disaster. Yay! I mean, oh, so Mariah Kim is the only one that I see who doesn't need the show. Even Kendall, Kendall's not the most beautiful girl in the world. She's, she's, she's. It's not shade, it's fact. I mean, I mean, the, the, a model is just a random girl who they put a bunch of makeup on and they make her look like a superstar. Oh no, I know how to chill, okay. but I will not be disrespected. Okay. Time for you to look for your moment. I invited you here. Oh, I in know how to find my moment. But just I understand. The book. We're going to talk switch. about the book. All right. Well, let's get to it, Wendy. Oh, don't. Uh -uh. I'm going to look I'll at it and show it to. Stuff. Well, then show uh -uh. it to Kenny right here. No, Kenny has the camera right here. This is the cl up close camera. Would you like it to be seen? The book comes out in October. What did I just do? <laughs> Nothing, right? Okay, listen, we're gonna start this over. Please help me welcome my guest, Omarosa. <laughs> so, do you wanna talk about little Kim? Yes. And that face of hers? <laughs> okay. Little Kim has been making headlines because of her dramatic new look. Um, it's not necessarily a new look. It's been over the course of maybe the last decade. She's just been getting stuff that looks like done, done, filled, filled, filled. It's filled so tight now, Kim, it looks like a pin would just pop you. <laughs> um, anyway, Kim is claiming that the blogs have been altering her pictures and trying to sabotage her images for ye or her image for years. Now, let me just say, I agree with Kim on this particular one. And then I'll dial it back and tell you what I really think. <laughs> okay, so um, this is the picture that, um, okay, for, this is the picture that she says was photo. See, take the pin and pop her. She'll fly right back to Jersey. <laughs> Look at me. This is the picture of little Kim that she says was doctored. Oh, because her fans are saying, oh, you're lightening your skin, you're filling your face, too much uh, plastic surgery. I must tell you, the same evening, and take note to the leather around her decollete, the furry stuff, and the necklace. This is another picture from the same evening where she doesn't look, see? See? That's a big chin piece. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway, all right, so let's do the up and down comparison, and I'm gonna break it down, because I'm on little Kim's side. You know how after you've had a, like a nice big meal, and you go in for that hearty belch? And... <laughs> Saying, like they might have caught her in, in mid expression. We've all been there before. This certainly does not look like the same person down here. And as far as the lighting, the lighting clearly is different in both places. So I don't think that these picture, this picture right here was photoshopped. I think they caught her, you know, in mid something or another. <laughs> but let's just take it back to um, the essence, a uh, little Kim in 1999. Kim, in my mind, I know your goal was always to look like LaToya Jackson. 
You've out Latoya Latoya in your new look. I just, and, and don't blame Photoshopping. Blame your plastic surgeon, girl. It's time for a Miley moment. Hit it.